Well, it's Thursday. I don't know what day, December something. Day before my operation. I guess it's the 17th. And here you go. There's the bike. Yay! Look at that, huh? Yeah, you've seen it a million times. So, I'm going to be riding home now. I'll do a vlog. It'll probably be my last vlog before the tonsil surgery. So, uh, wish me luck, eh? Inserting the camera. Home is next. <laughs> right. And then we got the gloves on here. Get the gloves on. Gloves are important. Got to put on the gloves. Gloves are wicked important in the cold weather. I don't even know how cold it is today. Are you ready? I get everything? Alrighty. Off we go then. You're only catching a wee piece of the ride today. Most of it unfilmed. I probably did about 60 miles today. Which is not much, considering. But, in the cold, without a windshield. That ain't half bad. It's probably about 42 Fahrenheit right now. Maybe tonight. If it's cold enough, I'll do another qualifying vid for the polar bear since I'll still be healthy and able to get out in the boat. I got on my thermal pants. I don't know if you can see those, but my, they're called the first gear. Toast to go has them up in uh, Virginia too. Got the idea from him. Thanks, Toast. Warm talking wicked warm like unbelievably warm toasty summertime summertime pants for the winter the semester is now over having turned in my final grades and my attendance for fall semester 2009 that's another one in the can My students kind of depressed me a little bit for their lack of remembering anything I've taught in the entire damn semester in Comp 5. I repeated over and over again the same damn pages all semester from August until December. Please read from page 427 to page 475. I say it over and over again. Every night for homework. If you don't have any homework that I have given you for today, please read 427 to 475. Those pages refer to how to do popular, pro popular, listen to me, proper MLA citation, Modern Language Association citation, when you do a research paper. I even teach it in class. Here's how you do it. Here's how you take a resource, you summarize it in your own words, you put it in your paper, and if it's information that comes from another source and not from your own head, you need to cite it. Teach them the whole thing, show them multiple times. Put it on a computer program called Blackboard online. They can look it up anytime and see exactly what I did and how I did it. End of the semester comes, and they just completely screw the pooch. It's, it's, it's depressing, it's depressing. And I sit down with the students and I say to them, did you read from page 427 to 475? And then invariably they say, what? Page what? Page 427? I don't know this page. I've never heard this page. <laughs> oh, God. So the first day I get the papers back is usually my depression day. And I always say to them, the absolute last day to give me the paper is X date. And then they come in with crappy papers. So then I have to give them back and say, look, I want you to do better than getting a D or an F on this paper, so... Take it back, fix these things. Read those stupid pages! Smack. And then I take them again a couple days later. Because I'm a softie. Big softie. 
don't want anybody to fail. Uh, but it's over. No more worries. My other three classes went swimmingly. A's and B's galore. My only bad class was comp 5. A lot of C's. But uh, luckily, this semester, no F's. They squeaked it out. I had to drop two students, but at least they don't count as F's. I don't like failing people. It hurts. I want success. I want my students to know stuff. So here it is, middle of December, temperatures in the low 40s, and I'm already, and I'm having a good time too. Tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. I get my tonsils out, hopefully everything will go well, and by the time you see this video, the operation will already be over and I'll be sitting on my couch in pain, but recovering silently, and my only communication will be the videos I've pre-recorded. These videos are recorded in front of a live studio audience. There's no studio. Anyway. I have myself a big fat bottle of whiskey. Tonight I might have a couple of shots. Celebrate the end of the semester. I'd like to wish my student Rei Ming Zhao uh, bon voyage. She's moving to Salt Lake City as we speak. And for everyone else, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. May it be prosperous and healthy and fun and full of riding. For those of you partaking in the Polar Bear Challenge, grrr, woof, rawr. I hope to join your ranks in January when the temperature here will get down to the 20s, maybe even the high teens at some point. And I'll be out there logging the mileage. Yes, sir. -y. What a beautiful afternoon. Not too nippy at all at all. It's only in the 40s. 40s ain't nothing. Nothing. When I get home, I'll go up to the thermometer almost said thermostat again and I will take a reading just to show a you what the heck happened on this street I don't even know okay Mikey maybe in the future you should not take a turn at 30 miles an hour <laughs> baby Jesus Do, 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 do. I'm gonna have lasagna for dinner. Not that you guys care. Wife's making lasagna. I had to pick up some mushy rooms. Completely random facts that you don't need to know. All right, we're gonna check this temperature. Hopefully all will go well. Tell you a little joke on the way down the hill here. Why don't blind people like to skydive? Scares their dogs. <laughs> No, nobody's laughing. Well, screw you then. What do you expect? It's a free video. It's not like you paid for it or anything. Okie dokie. Here we are. Back at the old homestead. Hopefully this is not the last time I'm parking this bike for the year. Hope I get to ride it again in a week or so. We'll see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, very quickly, very quickly. Very quickly. Watch how quickly. You're going to see... Amazing fast speed. Pass it off. Alrighty. Okay. Don't fall, you dumb helmet. Right, here we go. Let's go see what the temperature is. Ta da! What does that say? I don't even know. I can't tell from here. Oh my goodness! It's below 32. Oh! No, it's not. Damn it. It's below 40, but it's not below 32. Oh, well. Happiness anyway. 